10 years later, Elon Musk says, I'll put a man on Mars in 10 years. My dude couldn't even buy Twitter because the public backlash hit him. I'm not expecting anything from Musk at this point, you know what I mean? All he's gonna do is pump crappy crypto, try and act like he's in with a certain crowd who probably don't wanna be in with, and uh, do anything that he can to prevent his fading relevancy from hitting. We're gonna get weird Musk nerds in the comments now, so uh, let the mockery begin. Hello everybody and welcome to Calvis. My name is Lumo and today we are looking at r slash aged like milk, a subreddit dedicated to things that I will be real, aged about as gracefully as many of the people from my high school. All of these posts are balding. Hello everybody and welcome to Calibus. My name is Lumo and today we are looking at r slash aged like milk, a subreddit dedicated to posts that just aged like milk, not in a graceful way, but in a way that is chunky, somewhat fragrant, and not in a way that anyone would like to smell. So let's just get right into it. Duke Nukem 3D ad, 1996. If you don't play Duke Nukem 3D, you like men. And now, it's okay to like men. It's socially accepted, which is good. I got nothing else to add to that. The 90s were weird and not a great time to be on the LGBTQ side of things. It was not a great time for most people, actually. The 90s were awful, but the designs were so eye-gouging that people are nostalgic for them. It's a bizarre situation where everyone can accept that it was awful, but people still want to go back. I don't get it. The other day, this old meme popped up in my memory. Memes if World War III happens. Memes if World War III doesn't happen. How to ask for mercy in Russian. I, I, I will be real. Uh, straight up and down. There's no way this turns into uh, World War III because nobody is on Russia's side at this point. Like, we're fine. Everything will be fine. You know, I got I got faith. I got hope that things will be all right, you know? And that's that's all you can really have unless you're able to take direct action. He's got to miss it. John Prosser. I bet my left testicle that Apple will not put USB-C in iPhones ever. Wait, 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 wait. Is that actually happening? Is that actually happening? A apparently it's only according to leaks. So it's th this hasn't aged like milk yet because we get so many Apple leaks that end up being wrong. But simultaneously, I I could actually consider buying I, I would consider an iPhone if I didn't have to replace like my entire ecosystem of cables. I've got a box the size of my torso that is just filled with cables and I refuse to not use them. So if this is happening, hell yeah. Hell yeah. How innocent we were. Now beware tech abandoners. People without Facebook accounts are suspicious. Yo, this account reads like it was written by my NSA agent. I'm sorry, we can't get you more data, my dude. I don't want to be on Facebook. I'll be real. I have a Quest 1, I love having VR, I have considered simply buying an index so I have one less meta device being used in my life. Facebook is such, uh, Facebook is horrifying, oh, big tech is terrifying, says the YouTuber. But still, it's nightmarish, I hate this. And like, people will actually get on you about not having a Facebook account and it's just like, well I'm, I'm sorry, I really don't want to have my entire life online, you know, it's, I hate that. I despise it. The only reason why I have a Facebook is to keep in touch with my somewhat uh, technology disoriented family, you know? I hate big tech. We used to be happy. We used to pick berries and lived in caves. What happened to that? Nine days. Today I learned that in 1903, the New York Times predicted that building a flying machine would be possible in one to 10 million years. And to understand how ridiculous this is, the first successful powered airplane flew that same year, 1903. You're understating how ridiculous. Man won't fly for a million years. When did the Wright brothers fly? December 17th, 1903. Wasn't just the same year. It was nine days later. Well, sometimes things aged like milk and other times they just show up spoiled. <laughs> this article from 2013, just before the final season of Breaking Bad. Why the Saul Goodman spinoff is a bad idea. Is Better Call Saul good? Oh, apparently it's gotten critical acclaimed and considered an outstanding example of how to successfully produce a prequel and a spinoff work that defies expectations. All right, cool. So, uh, I assumed that was good based off of the sheer amount of, like, inexplainable Saul Goodman memes that have been showing up on Discord recently. Simultaneously, though, uh, that logic doesn't exactly pan out because Morbius memes exist. It will never be Morbin time, nor Morbin 2 time. But yeah, no, I'm glad that that's good. I'm glad that people who like Breaking Bad have more Breaking Bad. This comic is from 2008, just around Iron Man 1's release. Now that Marvel Comics have used X-Men, Spider-Man, Hulk, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, we're wondering what third tier characters they have left to make in the movies. Characters from a bygone era. Come on, kids, join Captain America and we'll beat those Nazis. 
Captain who? Characters who were never cool to begin with. Fear not, Doctor Strange is here. And characters you've probably never heard of. I'm Ant-Man, my power is to shrink down to Ant, which is totally a useful crime fighting power, right? And my costume design is totally not dated. This feels like it was written by a man in his 40s who just was so bitter at the world. Like, I, I don't want to say it like that because it sounds rude, but this is steeped in that, like, oh, the world was better when I was a kid kind of kind of methodology, you know what I mean? Like, this genuinely feels like kids today don't know comic books like I did. It, the energy of this comic is just so off. The vibes are rancid. Ha, ah, I love Twitter. Anyone else wish there was a dislike button on Twitter? We have one on YouTube. When was this posted? When was this posted? Also, taking away the dislike button, but still exposing this data to creators shows that it was not for creators' well-being, but for corporate well-being. Let's just put it out there. Let's say it as it is. The entire point of the removing the dislike button was to avoid companies getting backlash for bad decisions and bad products. I'm not going to beat around this bush, I will say that outright. This has aged like milk in every conceivable and possible way, and by god, do we need dislike buttons on all platforms. Thank you. Aged like lead. I hope the lead I'm mining will be used in your paint. Uh, my grandparents have lead chips in them. I've got microplastics in me. Nature isn't healing, it's just becoming more plasticine. <laughs> Uh, anyway, lead is poisonous. Don't eat the paint chips. Thank you. I am very stupid. Oh my god, this dude is literally roasting himself. Dune 2021 will be the biggest flop in modern history. The planned sequel will never be made and will become mythical. This mythical Dune 2 will never ever be made. Not in a million billion years. On its release date, I'll run for whatever state senator representative ship is nearest to wherever I'm living at the time as a bizarre identity of Reddit's choice. Massive L for you! I'll do it then. 2023, as a member of the Some Dune Reference Party. Impressive that you remembered. I will be completely real. Cod Polish. If it is within my power to vote for you, I will vote for you. Simply to solidify your name in the news, so you have to explain this on national television. And it will be great, it will be embarrassing, but it will also be legendary, hilarious, and will end up on at least one or two uh, drama reaction videos on YouTube. Thank you. I'm sure it was correct at one point. Donated by Lord Stephen Dixon and Lady Samantha Dixon. Study love and stay close to nature. Oh. Oh, this just makes me sad. Oh, the trees were pan uh, planted in row in order to be harvested eventually. Okay. So, it, this, this was a forest that was literally grown to be ripped down and probably replanted. Alright. Okay. I'll take it. It's not as depressing as I thought. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Tata adverts will never interrupt what you watch to sell you a bevy. Promise. I despise Netflix. I don't think it's done much good at the, I mean, it cut down on pro, uh, it cut down on piracy, which is good. That's very good because piracy, you know, it has the chance to hurt smaller creatives. Not the bigger ones, but you know, the small ones who are like indie size. But now we're getting back to the issue of too many platforms. It's too expensive, and now there's ads again, you know? Like, the issue was solved. The issue of the platform was solved, but it's starting to slink back into cable too, and that's really upsetting, actually, you know? We had a golden age, but now we're just expected to binge watch everything, and it's very uncomfortable, and the pacing is weird. And also, there are ads. If you don't mention it, then it's not a thing. New law in North California bans latest scientific predictions of sea rise. What? Really? Really, Carolina? Is, is this really what you're doing? Because you probably shouldn't be building beachfront properties when the tide is going to consume them. That's just... That's so dumb. That's so dumb. Information should not be able to get censored like that, you know what I mean? Like that... This fundamentally goes against the things in which I believe. I hate this. I despise this. 
personal sour milk to on this day 12 years ago. My life cannot get any worse than it is. Something's gotta give. I can't handle it. Apparently, this dude was 17 at the time of the post, had seven years of mean addiction ahead of them, 15 plus arrests, eight rehabs, two halfway houses, and a divorce with a uh, bad partner, but they did get a daughter out of it. So I'm assuming that this post is in celebration of the fact that like, they're getting their life together, hopefully, but just, man, man, what a journey. Dang. And that's all the time we have here today on Calibus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe share this with a friend who could use a reminder that information will age however it ages, and how we take it is how we deal with it. If you want more r slash age like milk, there'll be another popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calibus video. Have a great rest of your day!